Leading 3-2 overnight, Europe extended their party poker Moscone Cup advantage early on day two as Jason Shaw beat Shane Van Boning in a hill-hill thriller of a fan's choice match. Such a dramatic and eventful opening night. More of the same is what we were hoping for this evening. We've got it in this opening match. Good match to watch. Disappointing loss for Shane. But, uh, you know, got to give Jason props. I mean, he did play well. Jason is a sure thing. Shane Van Boning has lost the fans to his match for the third year in a row. Shaw sure stayed at the table and again helped see Europe to victory in a deciding rack, this time alongside Killer Filler, as Europe's fire and fire pairing saw off Woodward and Robinson. Here. I didn't want to be the curse of the commentator then. <laughs> happens to everyone, Alison. Oh, we're taking nothing for granted. That's nice to play. What a great break. Allowing them to finish the strike yeah! off and get that point. The world champion was next and kept Europe's momentum rolling with an assured 5-2 success over Corey Jewell. It's one against a very experienced player. Really, he's looked more assured and composed than any of the older and more experienced players we've seen over the last day and a half. What a night this is turning into for Alex Laley. European team, the challengers in this Moscone Cup. Looking to avert an American three-peat. And they've had a three-peat of their own at the start of the night. They've won all three matches so far. Fedor Gorst beats Corey Jewell by five racks to two. Europe lead overall 6-2, and they will definitely lead at the halfway stage. European momentum was a hallmark of their eight-year winning streak, which began in 2010 and they refound that groove on day two. In the fourth match, Van Boning and Thorpe didn't do too much wrong, but lost 5-4 to Ocean and Catchy. This combo from the Austrian among the highlights. Really the whitewash was then completed by Shaw, who beat Thorpe 5-3 to give Europe an 8-2 lead overnight. He's really dominant. Respond to this.